Oh baby, just last year, Hasbro treated us to a line of Marvel Legends Spider-Man retro figures. With Spider-Man's three big release coming in December, it's gonna be a big year for Spider-Man in general, and I think we're gonna get some more Spider-Man retro figures to go with it. We've already gotten the Spider-Verse Stiltman wave, and rumor has it we're gonna get at least one other wave of Spider-Man this year, possibly even the retro wave. With that in mind, I put together a wish list of my top 10 most wanted Marvel Legends Spider-Man figures on a retro card. Whew, that's a mouthful. Let's do it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Nerds. If it is your first time here, welcome my nerdy friend. My name is Matt and this is Nerdzoic. On this channel, we talk all about action figures, comic books, and the franchises that they're based on, as well as what other nerdy stuff is on my mind. Today we're talking Spider-Man retro figures and we're making a wish list. I gotta be honest, I had zero memory of this Spider-Man retro packaging until last year when I was walking through Target and saw it on the shelf and I was like, BAM! Oh, the nostalgia hit me hard. Now before I influence you with my ideas, hit pause on the video and go down in the comments and let me know. What figures would you most like to see on a Spider-Man card this year? And hopefully the shadowy Hasbro overlords are watching and taking notes. Before I give you my top 10, I do have a single honorable mention today, and that is for a Carnage figure. Here's the thing. I know we just got a Carnage figure like a year or two ago on the Space Venom card, and he's not even super expensive last time I looked. But I personally remember Venom being a big part of that animated show, and I just feel like he belongs on a retro card. Okay, now that I got my random Carnage talking points out of the way, let's get to the top 10. Coming in at number 10 is the Shocker. Shocker first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 46, and he is a self-taught engineer slash burger, burger, burglar, who is one of the more sympathetic villains in the Marvel Universe. He doesn't have any crazy fascist ambitions. He just wants to make a living. The current definitive version of Shocker came out in 2017 as part of the Sandman Build-A-Figure line, and you can pick it up for about $47. And the last time we got a Shocker figure before 2017 was all the way back in the 90s, which is really shocking, I know. See what I did there? All right, I'm joking. We did get one during the Spider-Man's Classics line back in the mid-2000s. If we get them, I'd love to see an all-new body. Not a Bucky Cat body like the last one. And fix his knee pads so they don't look like halfway pieces of air duct. Also, fix his eyes. This isn't Deadpool cosplaying a shocker, for the love of God. Coming at number nine is Venom with an Eddie Brock head. That's very important with this figure to get that down, Okay. Venom first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 300, though the symbiote costume that would become Venom, well, long story, but go look it up, that first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man 252. Eddie Brock himself appeared four years earlier, back in 1986, in Web of Spider-Man number 18. We get a ton of Venom figures, and we just got what I would consider to be the definitive one as the movie Venom just last year. But as far as I know, we've never gotten a six inch Venom that comes with an Eddie Brock head. We did get this in the 90s, which is what made me think of it, to be honest with you. If we could get a classic McFarlane Venom with a classic looking Eddie Brock, specifically with the weird flat topped head that he had in the cartoon, I'll be a happy man. Coming in at number eight is Craven. First appearing in Amazing Spider-Man number eight, he is best known as a big game hunter trying to kill Spider-Man to prove he is the world's greatest hunter. We have two different versions of Kraven in the past six years or so. We got one back in 2015 as part of the Rhino Build-A-Figure wave. That one's gone for about $60 and it's more of a modern comic book version. Then in 2019, he came in part of a two pack. Two pack itself was gone for $70, which is more of a classic take. I personally enjoy the newer version that came with a two pack better, but I really don't want to pay $70 for a two pack. Pack them with a bunch of hunting gear, maybe some spears, maybe some knives, maybe a net. I don't know, I don't hunt, I wouldn't know. But I'm sure Craven would know, so ask him. Coming in at number seven is the Armored Spider-Man. First appearing in... Seriously, I have no clue where he appeared. But as I was doing research for this video, I came across this figure from the 90s and I was like, holy crap, I remember playing with that figure till literally the paint started to rub off. So naturally, I had to go on Wikipedia and look it up. So here's what Wikipedia says. The Armored Spider-Man is an alternate reality version of Spider-Man. He is what would have happened if Spider-Man had stopped the burglar from killing Uncle Ben. He is a playboy, multi-billionaire, and engaged to Gwen Stacy. So basically, Armored Spider-Man is actually a combination Bruce Wayne, Tony Stark ripoff. Who would have known? Okay, I'm sure I'm generalizing there, so go ahead, roast me in the comments. I know it's coming. Other versions of this? As far as I can tell, just the 90s 5-inch version. Make it happen, guys, even though I know the chances are really, really low. 
Coming in at number six is Norman Osborn. He first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number 14, and he is the alter ego of the Green Goblin. As far as I can tell, we have never gotten a six or even a five inch version of Norman Osborn. I gotta tell you, it's really surprising because he was a pretty big deal there in the mid 2000s in actual Marvel comics. So the fact that we haven't gotten a version of him at all really surprises me. Now for this figure, I'd like it to be a very classic Norman Osborn. Again, make him look like the cartoon. That means the weird red lines in his hair that make no sense. I don't know. Yeah, it's cheesy, I know, but you know what? Play up to it. Cheesy is good sometimes. Living proof right here. Coming in at number five is Chameleon, who first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number one, and he's actually the first ever adversary of Spider-Man, which I did not know. And I also didn't know, but in my research I found out he is also the half-brother of Kraven which I bet makes for some really interesting family reunions. The current best version of Chameleon we got came out in 2015 as part of the Rhino Build-A-Figure line, but he's going for like $83. As far as I can tell, we haven't had any other versions. The last Chameleon figure came with a hammerhead and a JJ head so you could swap them out. Make hammerhead more cartoony and I'm good to go. Coming in at number four is Doc Ock. He first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man number three back in 1961, and he is one of the premier members of the Spider-Man's rogues gallery and has metal tentacles fused to his body. His current best version came out just three years ago, and it's going for about $35. But I gotta tell you, we need to get him on a vintage car because he is, in my mind, probably number two Spider-Man villain behind the Green Goblin. I mean, at least in my head. We've gotten a couple versions of him over the years. There's, of course, the 90s version. Then we got a movie version, which is Alfred Molina, if I remember correctly. And then Toy Biz did one that also looks really good, but it doesn't hold up super well compared to the current figures. If they made one change to this versus the one that came out two years ago, make his tentacles bend, and I'll be a happy camper. Coming at number three is The Lizard. First appearing in Amazing Spider-Man number six back in 1963, the lizard is actually Dr. Kurt Connors, who accidentally turned himself into a lizard trying to regrow his arm. Currently, our best version of this came out in 2015. It's a Build-A-Figure, and it's not cheap, and it's not really that great, but it's still our best version. Other versions of this, ooh, you gotta go back to the 90s to get one, if I'm not mistaken. As far as changes go, I like to see some, like, all right, let's face it. I want a full overhaul of the last one. Give me a head that looks more, like, old school. Give me a tail and some knees that actually bend so we can stand better, and I'll be a happy camper, and I think everybody else will, too. Coming in at number two is Rhino, first appearing in Amazing Spider-Man number 41 back in 1966. He is a Russian thug who underwent experimental procedures to get artificial skin and superhuman strength. The current best version of this is a Build-A-Figure from 2015, and at best you can find him for about $150. And that's really at best. He's not an easy one to find. Other versions of this include the 90s version, but that's it. There's a lot of mixed opinions on the 2015 Build-A-Figure and how good it was. I'm of the opinion that it was really good. If you gave us an updated version of that, still with the two heads, I'll be really happy. The chances of this happening, I'm gonna say are high. I even boldly predicted it in my bold prediction video. Time to go to number one. If you guys are kind of catching how I think, I think you might be able to guess it. Let's see. Coming in at number one is the Hobgoblin. First appearing in Amazing Spider-Man number 238 back in 1983, he is inspired by the Green Goblin and he's had literally a bunch of incarnations over the years. Our current best version came out in 2016 as part of the Space Venom Build-A-Figure wave and he is in my opinion one of the best Marvel Legends Hasbro's ever made. He's also one of the most expensive going for $108 on the aftermarket. It's been four years since this figure was released and fans have been clamoring for it. So I'm gonna say that the odds of this happening are pretty high. Now that we're done talking about Spider-Man figures, I want you to check out this video here. It goes over the top 10 best good guy castings of all time and the Spider-Man movies come up a lot in that countdown. Check it out. Till next time, be cool, stay nerdy. Later.